Hello boys and girls, I hope that you guys are having a magnificent day. Today with Ms. Daisy, you will be learning about robots and creating a robot using shapes. For our extended activity, we are also going to build a robot. To build a robot, you are going to need some cans. You are going to need some nuts and bolts. You will also need some magnetic dots, like these. You can get these magnetic dots at any, any craft store. But if you don't have any, you can use Play-Doh. So I'm going to take my cans and I'm going to create the body and decide how I want my robot to be. I think I want one leg. This is going to be his body and this is going to be his head. Now that we have our body, we can add the face, buttons, arms, and that's his leg. So here I have my nuts and bolts. And you want to have your nuts and bolts to add the face and the buttons of the robot. But if you try to stick it, it just falls down. And here I have another, this is a washer. But look, if you try to stick it, it just falls down. That's why we need these little magnets. These little magnets, if you put them on here, it sticks. If you put them on the face, if you stick it on, it doesn't fall. Like this one, if you stick this on, it falls. Now, let's check if it sticks onto these nuts and bolts. This is a hex, and the hex sticks to the magnet. So now that this sticks to the magnet and it sticks to the can, I can add one eye. And you want to continue adding eyes and a mouth and a nose. For some of these, I noticed that here I have a hex bolt and here I have my magnet. But if and I stick them together, oops, it sticks like this. Pull them apart and then they stick together. But here I have another hex bolt and I try to stick them together and they don't stick. So there's some magnets that stick to certain kinds of metal like this metal, but when it comes to this metal, it doesn't stick, it falls right off. And remember, if you don't have these magnets, then you can use some Play-Doh. I'm gonna use some Play-Doh to add some antennas on the top of his head. And if you have magnets, you can use both. You can use with Play-Doh and you can use magnets. Like this one. There's some paper clips and I'm gonna add it to his head. So here is my robot. These are his antennas on top. He's got two eyes, a nose, a mouth, and two ears. 
This is his arms. These are the bolts and the buttons. And there is his one leg. I wanted him to have one leg. In this activity, we got to explore magnets and we observed different ways to stick things to our robots. We stuck the hex knots with some magnets, but we also stuck the little antennas with some Play-Doh, like this one. We explored the materials and observed with our eyes, just like scientists. Having different materials, like the nuts and the magnets, and having the option to use Play-Doh, and even the paper clips allows children to make decisions and express themselves through their art or their robot. I hope that you guys try this activity, and I will see you guys in the next activity.